On the mound for the Texas Rangers is 27-year-old Dane Dunning. Well-traveled. Well, he's ready to go, and he's got a great challenge ahead of him tonight in this Angels lineup. The Angels 3-3. Three and three. And here's Shohei Otani stepping in from the left side to start the game. Here's the 1-2 offering. Straight three, call in the inside corner. A sinker by Dane Dunning gets Otani as that was just perfectly placed. Here's Trout. He's off to a slow start, too, just hitting 200, one homer. And that's deep out to center. That one is crushed, and that one is gone. Mike Trout wasting no time getting the halos on the board. Boy, does Trotty love hitting against the Texas Rangers. That's his 41st career home run. 3 1 pitch crushes it to dead center field. That baseball went 472 feet. Yes, you get to wear that cowboy hat. As now Jared Walsh takes strike. This one up the middle and hit sharply by Walsh. That's a base hit. That thing was struck hard. Here's <laughs> Rendon now with a man on. On the ground second base and that one in and out of the glove of Simeon. Walsh tries for third and he'll get in there without a throw. So runners at the corners now for Brandon Marsh. And that one's back up the middle and through into center field. It'll score Walsh easily. 2-0 Angels on Brandon Marsh's fifth RBI of the year. Well, he was undefeated against the Texas Rangers last year. 3-0 in his four starting assignments. Threw the ball really well on Thursday on opening day. Took a loss for his effort. And is ready to get back out there for his second assignment of the year. Last year's American League MVP, Shohei Otani. A ball and two strikes the count to Brad Miller. Got him looking. So Simeon aboard on his first extra base hit as a Ranger. And now it'll be Corey Seager. And Otani strikes him out with a split. And here's Mike with runners at first and second and only one gone. Seventh pitch of the at bat. And that one on the ground, third base. Miller to second for one. Simeon on to first, not in time. Heading to the plate. Here comes the throw. Got him! There's your double play. They went around the world to get it, but Wade thrown out at the plate to complete your fairly standard 5-4-3-2 double play. It is Nathaniel Lowe that leads things off in the second for the Rangers. 1-0 pitch, and Lowe on the ground through the left side. That's a base hit. And here's Adolis Garcia batting his retirement run. And he hits this ball up the middle and hard. That's a base hit. Low turns second base, but will hold there. Back to back singles to start the second inning. And it's outside ball four. The Rangers have loaded him up. As Jonah Heim can turn this game around. The set, the 0 2 pitch. And Heim hits one deep to right. A screaming line drive. That ball is history. It's a grand slam for Jonah Heim. There's that Jonah Heim power. This one didn't split. This one split the center of the plate. And the Rangers lead 4-2. And Shohei has an opportunity as the tying run here with a man at second and two gone. Kings 2-2. And that ball turned out toward right field on the run for Calhoun. And he makes a diving catch. Inning is over. As Corey Seager with two gone is the first to face Moran with a runner in scoring position. Seeger lifts this one high in the air. Deep out to right. Down. It's seven to two. How good against lefties? That good. That was a breaking pitch that was a ball for about 58 feet, and it swerved over the inside corner and right into the meat of Corey Seeger's bat for Seeger. His first home run as a Texas Ranger. Two balls and a strike to Corey Seeger. Someone that fires you up. These base yes. hits are starting to fire you up. Well, that's just another base hit for the Rangers. Another great at bat and yet another run. 9-2 on the single by Corey Seager. Rangers putting up some crooked numbers tonight. Well, they're just they're just working over the pitchers, boy. You know, there's a lot of times that you watch a team and over the course of a game. You think to yourself, boy, they have a lot of pitches to hit tonight. There are some hangers, there are some fastballs that were very hittable. They popped them up, they missed them, they fouled them off, and they lost the game. Tonight's not one of those nights. Now Garber is at one for three with a single. Two and one. 
And there's a ground ball deep short diving stop by Velasquez gets up throws on a hop and bobbled at first base by Walsh. Everybody's safe. Another run is home. It's 10 to 2 in the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll see how Steve Weller scores that. Great diving stop, but the one hop throw handcuffed Jared Walsh as it came up as an in between hop up around thigh high, and the first baseman could not handle it. But boy, what a get by Velasquez. And normally, you, Walsh will handle that. I mean, it, it, not that it's an easy play, but it's not a terrifically difficult play having bounced far enough in front of him. He just wasn't able to uh, keep it in his glove. 